court is in session. Check out this video to learn 10 useful legal terms in English. Hi, I'm Steve and this is Single Step English. If you haven't done so, please click on the bell button so you can subscribe to the Single Step English channel. I really appreciate it. If you enjoy this video, please click the like button and share it with other people. Welcome to this video on the top 10 legal terms that you need to know in English. These are important words that you may have come across in everyday life, or if you see them in movies or on TV shows, you should know what they mean. Let's get started. Number 10, bail. Bail is the money that someone must pay in order to be released from jail while they wait for their trial. John had to pay $5,000 for bail so he could leave jail and wait for his trial at home. Another verb you will hear used with bail is post, to post bail. He needs to post bail. That means he needs to pay money to be released from jail, to post bail. Number nine, plaintiff. A plaintiff is a person who brings a legal case against someone else. Example, Samantha is the plaintiff in the case because she is the person who is suing her neighbor. In this case, suing comes from the word sue, S-U-E, which means to bring legal action against another person. Number eight, defendant. Defendant. A defendant is the person who is being charged with a legal case or is being sued by another person, the defendant. They must defend themselves. This is the opposite of number nine, plaintiff. Here is an example. Mark is the defendant in the case because he is the person who is being sued by Samantha. Number seven, jury. A jury is a group of people who listen to the evidence in a trial and then make a decision whether the defendant is guilty or not guilty. Example, the jury in the case had to decide whether Mark was guilty of stealing from Samantha. By the way, a jury consists of 12 people. If you want to see a great old movie, I recommend the movie 12 Angry Men. Since the jury are citizens, like you and me, we call them a jury of our peers, the same as us, and they decide whether the person is guilty or not guilty. This takes us to number six, which is the word guilty. Guilty means that a person has been found to have committed a crime by a jury or a judge. For example, Mark was found guilty of stealing from Samantha by the jury. Can you guess what the next word will be? Number five, not guilty. Not guilty means that someone has been found not to have committed a crime by a jury or a judge. Not guilty. Example, Mark was found not guilty of stealing from Samantha by the jury. At the end of a court case, it is very common for a judge to announce that the defendant has been found to be guilty or not guilty. All right, number four, verdict. A verdict is the decision in a trial made by a jury or a judge, the verdict. Here's an example. The verdict in the case was that Mark was guilty of stealing from Samantha. Actually, the word verdict comes from Latin and it means to say the truth. Let's move on to number three, appeal. An appeal is made when the defendant does not like the decision made by the jury or the judge. So they ask for an appeal. They want the appeal to go from a lower court to a higher court. So they want another try. 
and they ask for an appeal. Let's go back using our example with Mark. Mark is going to appeal the verdict because he thinks the decision was not fair. That is the main reason the defendant will ask for an appeal. They felt the decision was unfair. Next, we have number two, which is sentence. A sentence is the punishment given to someone who has been found guilty of a crime. Example, Mark's sentence for stealing from Samantha was two years in prison. Hmm, I wonder if Mark will appeal. For this use of sentence, you may hear people say things like, he got a light sentence, he received a light sentence. That means the sentence was not very severe. For the opposite of light sentence, we would say, he received a harsh sentence. Maybe that person must go to jail or prison for many years. Okay, are you ready for number one? I know I am. Here we go. Number one is the word lawyer. Notice the pronunciation of this word. We don't say lawyer. We put it together and we say lawyer. Lawyer. A lawyer is a person who is professionally trained to give legal advice and represent people in court. One more example for Mark. He's had a rough day. Mark hired a lawyer to help him in his case against Samantha. A lawyer earns a good salary in most countries. There you have it. Those are the top 10 legal terms that you should know in English. I really think by learning these terms, they'll help you understand the legal system in English. They'll also help you when you're watching TV shows that are based on courts or legal issues and for movies as well. If you enjoy this video, please click the like button below and share this video with others. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Please try to stay out of the court system. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.